This video is a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to install a standalone ECU. It's aimed at people with no previous experience doing a job like this, and it has the goal of demystifying the process. It covers everything, including the design of the wiring diagram, tools and supplies, sensors, the wiring process itself, as well as the install and physical location of the ECU and associated components. So, let's get started. Uh, now, before we start any work on wiring anything, what we need to do is create a wiring diagram. A wiring diagram is by far the most important part of the job, and it will be something that you will be constantly referencing throughout the install. The first step towards creating a wiring diagram is to look at the user manual of your ECU and reference the pinout. A pinout tells you which pin on the ECU is designated for what. I'm using an AEM Infinity Series 5 ECU, and here in its hardware specification sheet, you can find a detailed pinout. For example, here we can see that pin C16, which is simply pin number 6, uh, that's the trim current signal for your Bosch wideband sensor, and you're even told which pin of your sensor should be connected here. If we scroll down a bit more, we can see which ignition coil should be connected to which pin. Below that, we have the crankshaft and camshaft position sensors, in case you're using variable reluctance. And a bit below, we have the pins for Hall effect sensors, and so on and so forth. Now, upon first glance, a pinout like this may seem very intimidating as it contains a lot of unfamiliar words, such as low side switches, falling edge fire signals, 10K pull up, etc. But don't worry, in this video, we'll build a detailed wiring diagram, and a high resolution image of that diagram is available for download in the description. Using that diagram, you'll be able to see what can be safely connected where, and then you can reverse engineer this diagram, edit it, change pin numbers, and adapt it to pretty much any ECU or setup, regardless of whether you're running AEM or not. Because ultimately, the basic logic of any ECU or engine control unit is simply to read signals from sensors and control outputs to injectors, ignition 